let's say that you have a shaft and that shaft is placed into a hole and you want the shaft to be fixed rotationally in that hole. In other words, the shaft should not be able to rotate relative to that hole. Also, you want to be able to remove that shaft for whatever reason. How would you do that? What hardware would allow you to do that? In this video, we're going to talk about set screws, and that is the answer to the question. Um, one way that you could install a shaft into a hole and prevent it from rotating relative to that hole is to press fit the shaft into the hole. But if you press fit it, it would be very difficult to get that shaft out, which violates the second requirement, which was to be able to get the shaft out. <clears throat> so set screws allow us to do that, and we'll take a look in just a second here. First of all, let's take a look at a couple of set screws. These are set screws. Uh, this one is a quarter twenty size, so that's a quarter inch diameter, 20 threads per inch. This one I believe is a 1032, so number 10 size, which is uh, 3 16 of an inch diameter, and I believe it was or uh, 1032, so 32 threads per inch. I think that, that's what size it was. Um, so those are examples of set screws. Now to install a set screw, typically uh, set screws will have a, a hex interface, right? So we'll use an Allen key like this one right here. You put the Allen key in and, and now you can turn your set screw and thread it into the hole. Allen keys like this one are you know L-shaped often. So <clears throat> this one is a little bit different Allen key. We're gonna go off on a quick tangent here. This has kind of a, a ball and which is cool because it allows you to almost angle your Allen key a, a little bit relative relative to the uh, the part that you're installing. So you know you can get it in you know something like that and have it a, at a slight angle whereas the other side is just a, a straight uh, Allen it's a hex interface yeah you put that in and you know you get be better leverage using this way because you have a longer longer moment arm anyway quick uh, sidetrack on Allen keys which are used to install set screws and other types of hardware with a, uh, a hex an Allen interface uh, these are all also called Allen wrenches or Allen keys. Um, okay, so let's take a look at how uh, a set screw could be used to hold a shaft in place. We're getting a lot of mileage out of this little motor uh, test fixture thing here. So we've got a shaft that is right there. That is the motor shaft right there. And that is installed in a hole, which is right here. Now this particular hole, you can see there's actually a flat on it right there. And there's a corresponding flat on the shaft that lines up right there. And since those flats, this hole was machined in a way so that those flats can line up, we actually don't technically need a set screw <clears throat> to bind this shaft down and hold it in place. But we're gonna use this just for edu educational purposes to, to show how it's used. Um, now you can also see that there is a threaded hole right there and that threaded hole is meant for a set screw. So the set screw gets driven into that, that hole you know, in here and that hole goes all the way through until the set screw meets the, the flat on the, on the shaft. Now we don't necessarily need to have a flat on the shaft, the shaft could just be uh, circular and the hole could be perfectly circular and we could have a set screw that goes through and uh, binds down on the shaft. Now that can create a little mark. <clears throat> it can mar the surface of the shaft and that might make it difficult to remove the shaft. So a good practice is to put a little flat on, on your shaft just like we have here. And if we pretend that this is just a round hole, right? Pretend that we don't have this, this flat right here on the hole, but it's just a, a round drilled hole then uh, we would need to use a set screw in order to bind that, uh, that, that motor shaft down relative to the hole. So the way we do that is we get a set screw. We've got a tiny little set screw here. And this is a, uh, an, an Allen driver, hex driver. And we put the set screw on the end of the driver like that. So now we can easily turn our screw and we bring this let's see I'm gonna use a different hand for this we'll 
Okay, and now we just install the set screw like that. And at a certain point, I'll start feeling some resistance, and that is when the set screw has bottomed out on the motor shaft. So there it is, right there. I, I can't really turn it any further. So I, I'd, I'd give it, you know, a, a little bit of torque on there to make sure it's really um, contacting the the motor shaft tightly. And, and now it's installed. So this is what an installed. Let's see. Here we go. An installed set screw looks like. And again, we're, we're pretending that this hole right here is just a, a hole, a drilled hole, circular, circular hole, no flat on it. So that set screw is the only thing now that is uh, binding down on the, the shaft and holding that shaft in position r rotationally relative to the hole. Um, and, you know, when we're done with this and we want to take it out, all we do is put our driver back in, uh, spin it a few times, you know, something like that. And now we can easily slide that shaft out so it's removable. And that is how and why to use a set screw. If you found this content helpful, consider enrolling in our signature program at mypipelineacademy.com. Whether you're an individual interested in beginning a new career as a mechanical designer or a company interested in training your new engineering hires, our signature program helps students develop the practical skills they need to be productive mechanical design engineers. Seating is limited. We hope to see you there soon.